So um, this is the introduction I want to give you. You have to look at three different points. The first thing you want to look at is what throws are involved in the pattern. So if you have um, a throw that goes to the other hand, it is an odd throw. If, it, uh, if it's a throw that goes to the same hand, you have an even throw. And um, you have to choose the right number also. If you have a really high throw, it might be a 7 or a 5. If it's more like, I don't know, in this kind of area, it might be a 3, depending on the rhythm. And the second thing you want to look at is, is the pattern symmetric or is it one-sided? So do I repeat the pattern with the same hand? Then um, this is one-sided, therefore the period is even. If not, it's odd. And then you mix around, you try to figure out the right order. And right now I uh, want to show you a few patterns. And you have to figure out what they are. So let's start with this lovely pattern. And just mad if I hold it or throw it a little bit. That was the first one. The second one is I do it again. Okay, the next one is a little bit hard for me. The last one. That's not the one <laughs> I just started. It's like this. So I will give you the answer to this, this task. Um, the first thing I did was 4-2. I was juggling two balls in one hand holding with my left hand another ball. Then I did the same twice but then added a 3 in order to make this symmetric. The next thing I did was just five. Every throw was a five, so I juggled five objects there. Yeah. And the last thing was five, three, one, but with a three. It's five, three, one, three, so it's one side.